So what is good guys Adnan here and with me I have the very first nightly build of Lineage OS 18.1 installed on my OnePlus 5. The installation process was pretty smooth and a quick Google Apps flash later I have Android 11 fully up and running. I leave download links to the ROM as well as a specific gapps package that I used in the description below. The boot animation has remained the same so has the lock screen, home screen and pretty much everything else about the ROM. I've always been a huge fan of the no-nonsense experience that comes with Lineage OS and thankfully that is exactly what you get here. So what's new? Obviously you get all the features that Android 11 has to offer like the new media controls in the notification area, a much cleaner lock screen and the wallpaper animations when interacting with the home screen. However, Lineage OS 18.1 has brought about some of the most changes to its built-in apps as well as the entire software experience in general. For starters, gone is the old and ugly AOSP calendar which has now been replaced by a new one that has a much better UI. The recorder app now provides more options for power users and the 11 music player app has also seen a major overhaul and now fits in well with the rest of the apps. One of the biggest features that I've seen in all of Lineage's or Cyan Engine Mod's history is now the addition of a backup solution that is built right into the ROM. To enable it, you need to navigate to Settings, System, Backup and choose Speed Vault as your preferred backup option. Once done, you can pretty much back everything on your phone either to its internal storage or to the cloud. This is honestly a really handy feature that I now wish every custom ROM comes with. There is also an entirely redesigned recovery that is a lot friendlier to use than before. Last up on the list of new features is one that I have been personally begging for years and that's the ability to change icon packs using the stock Trebuchet launcher and now you finally can. The camera app is just as unbearable as it always has been so just install google camera and you'll be fine. There are a lot of other nerdy, under the hood changes that you can educate yourself from the changelog on Lineage's website, but as it stands, 18.1 is a pretty significant jump in my opinion. I'm yet to test out battery and performance in the longer run, but if it is anything like the 10 previous versions of Lineage OS that I've tried, I'm sure I won't be disappointed. For now, my phone runs perfectly smooth and is able to handle pretty demanding games just fine. OnePlus exclusive features like dash charging and the alert slider seem to work without any issues as well. Currently, Lineage OS 18.1 is available for over 60 different devices and given the track record with support and updates, that list is sure to grow with time. That's been it, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.